so this is uh, uh, lecture number 27 and in the previous uh, lecture we were uh, discussing about the operation of and uh, basic uh, basic modes of operation of induction motor and we will continue with that and i will introduce uh, the basic concepts of uh, the slip and the rotor speed uh, the four pole induction motor uh, uh, generating uh, uh, the generator supplying uh, 50 hertz uh, must uh, run at 750 uh, revolutions per minute and the wind turbines operate at the few uh, 100 rpm uh, small and a few tens rpm uh, large the generator uh, box converts the uh, low speeds to high speed uh, this is done via gear mechanism in the box where we have already studied that there were three stages in the gear box uh, the low speed the high speed and the intermediate uh, speed so the difference uh, between the synchronous uh, speed and the actual speed of the rotor is basically known as the split uh, slip speed the slip speed of the rotor is slightly less uh, than the synchronous speed of with for the obvious uh, reasons of uh, uh, fr frictional losses thus the slip speed expresses the speed of the rotor uh, uh, relative uh, to its speed the slip in an induction motor is the difference uh, between the main flux speed and their rotor speed the symbol uh, s uh, represents uh, the slip it is uh, expressed uh, by the uh, percentage of uh, synchronous speed where n s is the synchronous speed uh, uh, r is the actual speed and uh, it is basically this is the this is basically the difference and this is uh, divided by the synchronous speed and multiplied by 100 percent to calculate the uh, uh, percentage of the synchronous uh, slip speed so uh, the value of uh, slip at the full load uh, varies from uh, six percent in case of smaller motors and two percent in the larger motors and uh, usually it is taken as three uh, percent for calculation purposes the induction motor uh, never runs at synchronous speed the speed of the motor is always less uh, as compared to the synchronous speed if the speed of the rotor is equal to the synchronous speed then no relative motion occurs between the stationary and the rotor conductors and uh, the main field the no uh, uh, electromotive uh, force uh, induces uh, in the rotor and the zero currents uh, is uh, generated on the rotor current the electromagnetic torque is uh, not induced thus the speed of the rotor is always kept uh, slightly less as compared to the syn synchronous speed the speed at which the induction motor is uh, basically uh, working is known as the slip speed the value of the uh, slip speed is uh, adjusted by considering the load of the motor for full load the high value of the torque is required this can be achieved by increasing the amount of slip and then reducing the speed of the actual rotor the slip of the motor is kept low when the induction motor is running at no load thus the small slip produces a small uh, torque on the motor uh, the value of the induction motor slip is basically uh, adjusted according to the uh, load requirements of the driving torque at the uh, normal uh, working condition the slip speed is positive in sub synchronous mode and negative in uh, super synchronous mode at uh, and zero at uh, synchronous mode uh, mode for the reason that i have uh, just uh, discussed the higher uh, slip uh, introduces higher torque and the currents resulting in higher uh, electromechanical conversion uh, induction motors uh, usually produce uh, uh, higher heat as well as uh, which uh, must be dissipated, uh, dissipated through fan blades uh, uh, at uh, one end uh, ring. 
so this is an example of an induction motor uh, the fan is embedded in the shroud over here on this end the fan is basically uh, added uh, to increase the airflow and enhanced airflow will uh, significantly reduce the amount of heat that is being uh, produced it will not basically reduce it it will uh, help in uh, 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 effective uh, dissip uh, effective heat dissipation uh, help in effective uh, heat dip dissipation uh, moreover uh, the uh, heat uh, uh, this uh, these type of uh, fins are basically added on the uh, surface of the motor these, uh, these also uh, encourage uh, the uh, proper heat uh, dissipation from the motor uh, this, uh, they, uh, they are basically increasing the surface area of uh, uh, the uh, body and the larger the surface area the higher will the will be the heat uh, dissipation these are the uh, these things are uh, same like uh, you can uh, see on uh, air cool engines like on Honda 1 to 5 uh, these type of uh, uh, fins are added to uh, uh, let the proper air flow in them and to increase the surface area so that heat can be properly dissipated